I'm Paul Simon, landscape horticulturist and landscape architect with the National Gardening Association. And today, we're going to talk about how to build a small greenhouse. First, we'll discuss shopping for your greenhouse materials. Next, we'll talk about locating your greenhouse and constructing the foundation. After that, we'll discuss constructing the PVC frame. Then, we'll discuss constructing the end walls and door frame. Following that, we'll discuss constructing the base frame. Finally, we'll discuss installing the polyethylene sheeting. Some of the tools and materials you'll need are fold-up tables, a handsaw, a jigsaw, a drill bit with a quarter-inch drill, a Phillips head drill bit, protective goggles, markers and pencils, a shovel, a hammer. You'll need one box of two-inch galvanized nails, one box of three-inch long galvanized deck screws, one box of one and a half inch galvanized deck screws, finally a box of one and a quarter inch galvanized deck screws, and the materials list items including framing materials, end wall materials, base frame materials, and poly cover and securing materials. For a complete list of materials for the framing, end walls, base frame, and poly cover, you can go to our website at www.garden.org. For basic safety issues, Make sure that you use safety goggles, especially when handling the jigsaw. For some of the steps in this series, you may need someone else's assistance. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I'm a landscape horticulturist with the National Gardening Association. I've got 20 years of experience in landscape horticulture, landscape architecture, and design. We were founded in 1973. We're a nonprofit leader in plant-based education with a mission to promote home, school, and community gardening as a means to renew and sustain the essential connections between people, plants, and the environments. Greenhouses open up a whole new world for you. It can help you extend the growing season, and you can start seeds early in the spring, and when the weather warms, you'll be ready to transplant into your own garden. That'll also help you save money as well. So let's get started.